So it's November and I figured it was about time for me to do a video review of the Legend of Zelda box manga. And so here I am decked out in all of my Legend of Zelda regalia. I have the the box the box set right here. Isn't it beautiful? Oh yeah. Yep. This is in fact the official box set. There's a little Nintendo licensed official sticker on there. So this is it. Um, it's put out by Viz Media and obviously Nintendo has licensed it because if they didn't, that'd be awkward. The story and art is done by Akira Himikawa and that's a team of two women. I'm just gonna put this down here. Ta-da! Okay, you can just look at that. Um, it also it also came with a wonderful poster. Isn't that stupendous? Okay, I'm gonna hang it up on my poster wall eventually, but we'll get there sometime. Um, obviously, it is based on the popular video game series, and I say based because it's not an exact adaptation. Some liberties are taken, um, so. For example, Link can talk, <laughs> that being kind of the most obvious one. Also, the way the dungeons are formatted are a little bit different. Obviously nobody wants to read about a really frustrating block puzzle, so less emphasis is put on the actual gameplay, as it were, and more focus is put on the plot. Because you gotta get Link from point A to point B, you gotta save high rule, yeah. And there might be a couple other little plot devices or characters that have been added in, but for the most part it does a pretty good job of sticking to the original material. So there's there's ten volumes in this set, and that covers um, eight different titles. So obviously some of them have part one and part two. Also, I'm going to give a little bit of a shameless plug. There have been some more recent adaptations to some of the more newer material, such as... Da -da -da -da, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Um, I've done a little bit of a mini review on this as it's kind of more ongoing of a series. And so you can check that out if you so desire. So I have <laughs> this stack and I'm going to go through and just kind of tell you exactly what manga is in the box set. Because, yeah. Anyway, so we have A Link to the Past, The Minish Cap, Majora's Mask, The Four Swords, Part 1 and Part 2. The Oracle of Ages, The Phantom Hourglass, Ocarina of Time, again, part one, and then here's part two, and finally, Oracle of Seasons. I've had some personal experience with some of the actual original material, so I'm going to be talking about some of the ones that I have a little bit more knowledge of to kind of tell you how the adaptations line up. So to start off, we have the Minish Cap. So the beginning of the manga for the Minish Cap is pretty close to the original material. Um, there are a few slight differences, such as Link isn't the one who actually takes the sword to the festival, whereas in the manga they have him doing that. And also in the manga they have him meet the main villain before he actually shows up at the festival. The plot's kind of simplified and the dungeons are fairly glossed over, and some of them are just kind of skipped altogether. Um, also instead of visiting the elemental sanctuary throughout the course of the game. Link just goes there at the very end of the game, and that's kind of where the whole climax takes place. And also, uh, V.A.D. returns as Ezlo's apprentice at the end of the, the book, which I think in the game he just kind of is done away with. So, happy ending for everybody, even the villain. Except for Ganondorf, because Ganondorf never gets a happy ending. Next up, I'm going to talk about the Ocarina of Time. Okay, since they had two volumes to do this, the story's a little bit more spaced out than some of the others, and they also added in a few, in a few little backstories and kind of side elements. So a fair portion of the second volume are actually like little fun extra stories. And some of these extra details fit pretty nicely, but some of it kind of sticks out and, and just kind of feels a little bit unnecessary. But, I mean, who's going to say no to more Legend of Zelda? Come on. Also, not every aspect of the game is covered, so there are a few time skips other than the seven-year one. 
See what I did there? <laughs> Don't laugh. It's not funny. So even though there are the, some of the later dungeons are abbreviated to just, to just a few pages, the author does give um, ample a time to the important events. So you don't have to worry about. And I also really liked how they integrated Sheik into the story a little bit more. You kind of get more interaction with Sheik and Link, and you know, obviously Link discovers who Sheik is, and that's just kind of fun. I think it is. And then we have Majora's Mask! Yay! Again, a little bit of backstory was added to this one, um, especially to have like a little snip at the end where it was kind of potentially how the mask could have been created and the origins of the mask. And then also they have a little bit of padding in between the beginning of the story kind of to lead Link up to, you know, obviously he's searching for Navi and, you know, what he's been doing at that time and kind of to the point where he falls into Clock Town. And because of the vast amount of dungeons and especially side quests in Majora's Mask, there's a, there's a lot of side quests. Most of them are shortened and some of them are just kind of completely skipped over. For example, the whole cow alien thing isn't mentioned. However, Kafe and Anju's little, that whole side quest is is present in here. So that's kind of the, the main side quest of the side quests. However, not to worry, the author does allow time to tell the story of the three main masks. So, you know, the Dicky Scrub and the Goron dude and the Zoro dude. And, yeah. That's all in there. So, we're good. All in all, this box set was really fun to read. I enjoyed kind of reliving some of the games that I have experience with and also kind of learning about the games that I haven't played. But I hope you enjoyed this. I finally got it done. I'm so happy. <sighs> That's a tremendous load off my back. I am. I'm done. I'm done. We're good. Okay. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys later on the next video, I guess, whenever that may be. I don't know. School is still going on, so it's just kind of whenever I get the chance. Bye.